What about you as a Nigerian? And in fact, as a Nigerian who happens to come from the northern part of the country, where what we just see, what we just saw is in fact happening, except that of course it is happening in the northeastern part of the country. It was, uh, it was also very difficult. Uh, we have seen uh, stuff that Boko Haram has done. We have heard what Boko Haram was capable of doing. We have heard that in 2014, Boko Haram was the most deadliest terror group in the world, more than ISIS, more than Al-Qaeda, more than Al-Shabaab. But uh, we have never seen the raw violence that Boko Haram exhibited until we saw those uh, uh, footage. And it was incredibly violent. Helen, what about you, my brother? You happen to come from the specific areas, in fact, which happens to be the theater, frankly, of operations of Boko Haram. You also have written a book about that particular, um, you know, tragedy to boot. Yes, um, like my fellow guest here said, it's just hard to, to be from there and to see these footages, you know, and to know the whole history of Boko Haram, what they have done, you know, since, um, say, 2009, when their leader was killed, and 2010, when they really emerged as a, as a fighting unit and started attacking people and indiscriminately um, women, and then, of course, ultimately kidnapping the, the Chibo girls. So it's always heartbreaking um, to know this thing has been going on. Um, the government has tried to stop it, um, sometimes unsuccessfully, um, recently, of course, they have made a lot of progress. Mm. Um, I think the only hope one can, you know, say, one can express is that the government is going to keep pushing them back and try to um, regain as much territory and to release as many people as they can. Um, so we can only have hope, I think, going forward.